DIYers, what's going on? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. We're working on our basement walkout double doors. And in today's video, we're going to replace the center weather stripping. DIYers back at the Craftsman workstation and always busy at the Craftsman workstation. As you can see, we just rebuilt a Mercruiser Alpha 1 Gen 1 out drive. And installing skateboard mounts and hanging these skateboards on the wall. And we will post all those links down below in the comment section as well as description section. Check that out. That's our grip tape. You can see it's an orange, orange trucks. We'll go on the white board and on the back side of that black board, do it yourself is written in green. However, main reason why we are here is to replace the weather stripping in the center portion of our double door. And scrolling above right now is a link to a video we actually replaced the outer edge, both left and right, and up top weather stripping. So definitely check that out. Let's go ahead and open the door and get started. At this point, I've got the main door open. Your main door is the one that has the deadbolt and the latch and doorknobs or handles. And coming back to the center weather stripping, you can leave this door as is. You do not need to open it. And you can see our locking shaft is up and in. And also, in the event that you replace your weather stripping and you're still getting a cold draft or you can see visible light coming through the seam between your upper trim and upper portion of door, we will post a link on how to install additional insulation tape. And this is awesome. Definitely check that out. That is below. However, coming to our weather stripping and just grab it carefully and you can see rubber grips basically tuck themselves deep into a seam in there and do your best to stay away from grabbing this with pliers and yanking it you don't want to damage any portion of that inner seam and just carefully begin peeling your weather stripping out and yes the center weather stripping is a bit tougher to get out but no big deal in the event that you cannot pull it out go ahead and grab a very fine tip flathead screwdriver and get it inside and i recommend having either a paper towel or a rag in between your screwdriver and your door because you do not want to scratch the paint and just carefully as shown here pry it out however as you can see in our case it's coming out pretty easily i'll set that screwdriver down so i don't scrape the door and you can see got some paint on it but whatever And again, just be patient. No need to break anything. No need to rush this. And it's easiest to pull straight back as opposed to at an angle. And taking a quick view of the inside seam where that goes in, take a look at that. That is the very small seam that it fits inside, not this outer one, but the inner one, as you see there. There it is. Back to the top of the door, some friendly cleaning. I will post a link down below in the comment section, as well as description section on where to purchase this canned air. Comes in very handy when cleaning the seams. Now to a quick comparison, old on the left hand side, new on the right, and you can see the inner foam basically degraded and is beginning to crumble. And that's normal, that happens. And in reference to the old weather stripping, I just cut it into what, seven pieces? Make it a lot more friendlier to fit inside the garbage. Change of camera angles, it is now time to install the new weather stripping in the seam. And again, the inner seam, not the outer, the inner and align the rubber grips. And I've got this little tab here. I'm just gonna really tuck it up underneath that and apply inward pressure to properly seat those rubber grips inside that seam. And by pushing it all the way in, it again will allow those grips to properly seat and grab a hold of that seam and not allow it to come out as the door opens and closes. And do your best to stay away from pressing this in with a screwdriver. You do not want to puncture or damage this brand new seal. And again, just push it all the way in. And as I work further down again, as you can see, there's the internal rubber grips. And by placing them inside that inner seam right there, I'll be able to grab a hold and stay in place. 
again, just apply some friendly pressure. Stay away from screwdrivers or pliers to push this in. Again, you do not want to puncture your brand new seal. You don't want to have to go back to the hardware store and buy a new one. As you make your way down to the bottom portion, you can open the door if you want to. However, we're going to keep it closed and I'm going to make a cut. And DIR is a very important step. It's best to cut short and have to cut again rather than cutting large or too much and having to go back to the hardware store to purchase a brand new weather stripping. So again, as I shift this in place, maybe cut right here. see how that goes and still you can see I've got maybe another inch to cut and maybe another half an inch and then right in and maybe another quarter of an inch That looks like a perfect cut and I will push that in. Now to a close up view, as you can see, the weather stripping is flush and I am satisfied with that. And what I recommend doing from here, we'll go all the way up to the top and try not to give yourself weather strip burn or rug burn and just run your thumb or fingers the entire distance to ensure you have properly seated the weather stripping and rubber grips inside that seam. And as you do that, you may hit what feels like a lump or bump. Focus on that area for a few seconds, really seat that inner grip portion of the weather stripping and continue all the way down. Back up top, another way to do that is just curl the weather stripping over without damaging it. Go to the inner portion where you can actually get real close to the back side of the rubber grips and apply that pressure. Taking a step back, now it's time to close the door. Much better. From here, just double check that you do not see any visible light or any cold drafts if it's cold outside. And DIYs, that's it. I need to clean my doors. I mentioned that in several videos already. I need to get at that. Do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.